Once all wall panels have been hung up and shelves are ready to be attached, look straight on towards the wall panel to make sure each shelf rod is perpendicular to the wall panel. If a rod is noticeably at an angle, not near 90 degrees with relation to the wall panel, then gently tap the rod with a rubber mallet until it is. The black dowel receptacle needs to be tapped in and installed into the shelf before the shelf is attached. After you've confirmed that the rods are perpendicular to the wall panel, everything should be in place to attach the shelf to the wall panel. On sliding shelves, the upper shelf has the sliding track on the top, and the lower shelf has the track on the bottom. If the shelf is larger than 72 inches, then a third person will most likely be needed to support the bow in the middle while placing the shelf on the rods. Get the shelf started and then make sure the small silver dowels on the wall panel line up with the black receptacle in the shelf. If not, gently tap the silver dowels so they line up with the black receptacle. Once everything is lined up, push in a uniform fashion along the entire edge of the shelf to allow the dowel to engage into the shelf for a secure fit. On a lighted shelf, the light always points down. As the shelf is slid on the rods, the cord from the light will need to be fed through the hole that was bored before the wall panel was hung. The cord will then fall down the back of the wall panel and out the bottom. This is achieved easier if the kinks in the light lead are straightened out before feeding it through the hole in the wall. Once all of the slack is out of the light lead, the shelf can then be pushed on in one uniform motion until it is flush with the wall panel. Shown here is how the light system works. Once the lead is out of the bottom of the wall panel, it will be plugged into the driver in one of the six orange slots. The switch plugs into the side of the driver right next to the lone orange slot. Before the switch can get plugged into the driver, it needs to be fed through the wall panel binder and press fit into place. There are two locations on each wall binder that the switch can be press fit into. A small black cap must be removed once you choose your preference. Once it's through and plugged into the driver, then the driver will be tucked behind the wall panel wherever desired. It can rest on top of a wall panel spacer block as well. Now it's just a matter of tucking the rest of the cords behind the wall panel and then the finished product is certain to wow.